good morning eighth standard students today i am going to explain the first round test practice papers 1 and 2 there are two papers are there practice paper 1 and practice paper 2 so these uh, practice papers are related to the first and two lessons First lesson, which are the test portions? The already test portions are given, no? Which are the two lessons? The sources and geographical features of India. Understood? So, there are two papers. I explain one by one. First main, multiple choice. Second main, fill in the blanks. Third main, answer the following one or two sentence. Fourth main, answer the following four or five sentences. Understood? So, multiple choice questions. First main. The, for, the foreign writer who visited the Vijayanagara Empire was for new new news. Answer is option C. There are four options are given. Answer is C. For new new news. First one in Foyan, Zilas for new new news and Megasthenes. So, answer C is correct for Nijo Nunes. You are the foreign writer who visited Vijayanagara Empire. Second, Halmidi inscription. The first Kannada inscription belonged to this dynasty. There are four options are there. Kadambas, Badami, Chalukyas, Vaisalas and Rastakutas. The correct answer is A. Kadambas. Understood? Third one. This nation is the best example for peninsula. This nation is the best example for peninsula, which is, uh, there are four options, Sri Lanka, India, Nepal, Bangla, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. Correct answer is Sri Lanka. Understood? Next. In olden days, Indian foreign trade was carried only through sea route, railways, roadways and airlines. Correct answer is sea route. Understood? Once again, I repeat the question and answers the foreign writer who visited the vijayanagara empire was for new news almidi inscription the first kannada inscription belonged to this dynasty kadamba dynasty this nation is the best example for peninsula answer is for a sri lanka the olden days in olden days indian foreign trade was carried only through three routes option a understood next main fill in the blanks geographically india is a dash peninsula The implements of Middle Stone Age are called the implement of Middle Stone Age are called microliths. The essential ingredients for the construction of history are the essential ingredients of construction of history are sources. Ashtadhyaya Ashwagosha dash is literary source. Ashwagosha's Arshacharita. Understood. So next, what are sources? Already you know the answer in classwork. What are sources? Sources are the important material. They help us to study history. What are what are sources? Sources are the important objects or materials. They help us to what study history. The things used by the human beings in the past have remained. Then they are called as sources. Understood? Which book was written by Kautilya Arthashastra? By who method? By what method? The age of biological fossils can be decided. Carbon fourteenth method. What is my? What is meant by prehistoric age? Do you know the what is the meaning of prehistoric age? The period before the discovery of art of writing is called prehistoric age. Name the three stages of the prehistoric age. Which are the stages of prehistoric age? Old Stone Age, Middle Stone Age and New Stone Age. Name the two foreign writers. Name the two foreign writers. Fayyan, Megasthenes. There are so many writers are there. Fayyan, C.U. Yensang. Ptolemy Megasthenes. Understood. 
once again i revise the answer so what are sources what are sources sources are the what are sources all of you open your class work the things used by the human beings in the past have remained it then they are called sources which book was written by kautilya arthashastra by who what method the age of biological fossils can be divided carbon 14th method what is prehistoric age what is the meaning of prehistoric age the period before the discovery of art of writing is called prehistoric age understood explain the importance of coins in the history of writing of history what is the importance of uh, coins in the uh, history of writing history the coins are very small in shape uh, they contain the many important aspects they are help us to understanding the geographical extent of rulers kingdom who went in the coins they also aid us to knowing the language of administration titles that the kings possessed their religion economic conditions of the time and also metal technology is all in and it also explain the metal technology of that period understood so uh, this answer is also in your class work uh, read children and uh, learn this answer how does the historian write history how does the historian write history a historian write the history with the help of sources explain one and literary sources and or how a historian like an advocate he advocate the present argument on the basis of followed the evidence and the sources related to their case similarly historian collect the sources subject to the critical examination analyzing and then write, then he write the history how did the animal husbandry diary forming start how does the animal husbandry and diary forming start so the earth temperature began to gradually increase this led to the development of grasslands and many places birds animal began to multiply and animals like deer elk goats sheep and other prosper their grasslands humans who have been hunting the animals began to observe the nature good habits and they have these animals multiplied over period of time they captured some of these animals and brought into them like animal husbandry and uh, dairy started understood so these are all the important questions children uh, in multiple choice question third the nation is the best example for peninsula india understood not sri lanka sri lanka is a island understood this nation is the best example for peninsula india understood okay i think all of you understand this uh, uh, understand about this uh, this practice paper 1 and next i explain the practice paper 2 it has also a same means 20 marks question paper both are paper practice paper 1 and 2 are 20 marks so multiple choice question first main this book is the example for native literature native literature first one is cu ki foku ki indica and buddha charita buddha charita is the uh, native rich literature so d option d is the correct answer the best example for india indian heritage is cave is elephanta elephanta means c option c is correct answer the eastern coastline is the india is called the eastern coastline of india is called kora koramandal coast understood the eastern coastline of india the eastern coastline of india is called as koramandal or konkan you know the eastern coastline is called koramandal coast the dynasty which developed the parts of india was the, the dynasty which developed the ports of india is cholas understood what is c option c is correct answer so once again i repeat this book is the example for native literature buddha charita the best example for indian heritage elephanta the eastern coastline is india is called koramandal coast the dynasty which developed the ports of india was cholas next fill in the blanks india consists of dash states that is states the two major rivers of north india are ganga and brahmaputra mudra rakshasa was written by which book was mudra rakshasa was written mudra rakshasa was written by whom you know the answer 
Vishaka Datta. Understood? Who write the Udra Rakshasa? Vishaka Datta. Next, Foyan. Foyan came to India during the period of Mauryans. Next. Next, Meno. Answer the following. What is peninsula? What is peninsula? The three sides is covered with water. One side is land is called peninsula. Name the two rivers of South India. There are so many rivers. Krishna, Kaveri, Tungabhadra. You write any two. How did prehistoric man live? How did how does the prehistoric man? What is the lifestyle of prehistoric man? So uh, probably they, they use the tools made by the stone, wood and bones. Uh, the tools for stone was survived today, providing as the source of study. Human beings and prehistoric used the stone tools to peel the skin and separate the flesh of bones. And people use the create the handles out of the bones and using them the spear and and enter the animals. They use the stone as access to chop down the trees and cut down up into uh, logs. They were nomads. They move from one place to another place. Understood? The prehistoric man was a nomad and indulged the hunting and food gathering. Next. Which is the first Kannada inscription? Halmidi inscription. What is source? Already I explained in first paper. Give the example for native literature. Give the example for na native literature. There are so many na native literary work was done in ancient period. For example, Kautilya Shastra Shastra Halas Gata Saptasati Vishaka Dutta Smudra Rakshasa Kallana Srajatangini. So you write any two. Understood? Next. What are archaeological sources? Explain with example. Archaeological sources are available not only surface of the earth but also hidden deep in the depth of the earth. So, um, hidden things are not dug out by the using the scientific method. Inscriptions, coins, monuments, other ruins are the example for um, for archaeological sources. What are the valleys through which the attack on India took place? Khyber and Bolan. The attacks have been mainly from our eastern side through the valleys of Bolan and Khyber passes. Understood? Bolan and Khyber pass. How did the animal husbandry and dairy forming value? Already you learn uh, this question in first paper, practice paper. So yeah, so you and also you, this answer is in your classwork. Students, you learn all these questions and also you solve the practice paper 1 and 2. You easily answer the first round test question paper. Understood? So, you practice in rough note. Goodbye.